30 years ago today, the Berlin Wall, one of the most enduring symbols of the Cold War in Europe, came down piece by piece. It was a pivotal moment. The wall divided the city between the communist East and the free West. During the three decades that it stood, several world leaders, including former presidents Kennedy and Reagan, called on the Soviets to tear it down. Roxana Saberi reports. These flowers and the fragments of the Berlin Wall mark 30 years since the symbol of the split between communism and democracy began to crumble. Built by Soviet allied East Germany in 1961, the wall began as barbed wire going up overnight. People in East Berlin woke up to learn they were trapped. Over the years, thousands tried to breach the 27-mile wall. For dozens of them, the attempt across the so-called death strip, guarded by soldiers and filled with mines, proved deadly. And the determination of the John F. Kennedy visited the wall in 1963, paying tribute to Berliner's quest for freedom. In the world of freedom, the proudest boast is, Ich bin ein Berliner. In 1987, Ronald Reagan followed with a message for Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Two years later, the people did. Crowds on the eastern side of the wall demanded they be let through. They were streaming across the wall within hours of the announcement. Overwhelmed, border guards had no choice but to step back. Now their job is stamping passports as fast as they can to keep the flow to the west moving. And many of them seem to relish their new role. That's good. The fall of the Berlin Wall pointed to the end of the Cold War and the promise of a more unified, democratic world. But three decades later, that expectation has faded, with the rise of nationalism and cracks appearing in the European Union and NATO. In Berlin yesterday, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called on NATO nations to spend more on their defense. He also criticized Russia and China. Uh, today, authoritarianism is just uh, a stone's throw away. It's rising. And if if we're honest, it never really went away completely. And today, German Chancellor Angela Merkel urged Europe to defend freedom and democracy, warning they should never be taken for granted. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Roxana Saberi, London.